Hey what's hot everyone and welcome back to another video, my name is Ben Lee. Today we're going to take a look at The Ascent, a new game developed by a studio called Neon Giant with a small team of just 12 people and I've got to say guys it's looking pretty good. It's got my attention and I'm really excited to bring this to you. The game is described as a twin stick shooter and is essentially a action shooter with RPG elements so you can expect fast paced combat and plenty of loot and tasty chests to open on your journey as well as being able to assign attribute points to your choosing. So you can level up the character how you wish but the ascent is both a single player and up to four player co-op game both online and offline and it's set in a really cool looking cyberpunk world. Around. So this is clearly a game that you can play with some buddies but I also want to point your attention to our very active community discord with over 880 amazing members now of respectful and like-minded gamers. You'll be able to use this to find groups to play this game as well as to be able to discuss your builds etc. So this will be a great place for you to play the game multiplayer so hit up the link in the description below and join the discord. So something that's really awesome is the game's release date is on the 29th of July which is only about two weeks away from recording of this video and it'll be on Xbox and PC which is also awesome because of the fact that it will be on Game Pass, which is really nice. So essentially, you start your journey down in the slums of the lower section of the Mega City where things have gone mysteriously wrong, and as an indent, which is what the game calls your character, you're a bottom of the row worker and you progress your way through the different levels of this Mega City, fighting enemies in all of the chaos as something has gone wrong and things start to run riot. The Ascent Group is gone and the board has gone quieter than a null space carnival. Maybe you people should start looking to what's next. So as you just heard, the Ascent Group is gone and starting off at the described bottom of the food chain, you'll find loot and progress your character in levels and being able to choose from different armor and different weapons such as assault rifles, shotguns, RPGs and flamethrowers as well as particle beam cannons which look amazing and much more as well as different types of tactical grenades which are on a handy cooldown rather than ammo based and they charge up as you engage in combat which is a really nice system as I think it's going to be a lot of fun with all the different types of grenades that are in the game. Another really important note about this game is that it doesn't have classes which means you're going to be able to be really flexible in terms of what build you can make as you level up and assign your attribute points which is awesome as well because if you're new to my channel I really like making build and guide videos and I'll be doing it for this game as well so if you're interested in seeing more content like that on this game going forward as well as my live streams that I do right here on YouTube and yes I'll be streaming this on release then be sure to go down and hit that like button subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future content as well as the push notifications for when I go live. So yeah, this game takes the approach where instead of being the chosen one on some grand quest, it's more like you're just trying to get by and survive in all the carnage around you as you try and find out what's happened to the mega city. And to get a true sense of all the chaos, they've even done things like this plane here that crashes. Which actually sounds really cool and then you've even got like the rubble and stuff falling down afterwards i think they've done a really good job with this the game also focuses on a big sense of verticality and the top down camera really gives you a sense of height as you progress through the levels and you can see down over the edge it really gives you a sense of how big this city is and the higher up you go in this game the environment will change with the fact that the wealthy live at the top and the poor live down the bottom so you can expect a change in scenery as you go up and to see things get nicer and nicer as you get into more wealthy areas is. The game is also a pre-done world with all the items and loot in the game hand placed including any secrets and on the subject of loot the developers decided to go down the unconventional route of not color coding items by rarity. I know for myself that I'm very much used to green being kind of like a common, blue being a rare, purple for like epics and orange for legendary weapons and armor. However this game makes it simple in the fact that a red drop is for a weapon and an orange drop is a grenade and I believe from this chest here the the blue item is a piece of armor as you can see it's some kind of harness so an interesting approach here and we'll see how it goes on release so moving over and talking about some of the combat in this game one of the coolest things about this scent and a really nice feature which is also described as the devs as a very important part of the gameplay to play effectively is to read your environment and use cover this isn't a feature that any slash many of these style of games has implemented before so it's a really cool feature for a twin stick shooter to actually have implemented the devs also talked about the fact that there's loads of things that can be used as cover so it'll be up to us to explore what's on our screens and actually use it effectively and this is a good example here because as you can see the guy is hiding behind this bit of cover here blocking the view from the guys to the left while he deals with the guys to the right. This means that positioning is going to play a really important role in this game so your pathing is going to be really important. 
Another cool feature, as you can see here, is when the character gets too close to the enemies here, they kind of threaten you and wave you away without actually aggroing on you. So you can kind of pick and choose your battles a bit. And it just gives you a really nice feel of the game that there is a lot of chaos, but not everybody wants to fight all the time. The environment in this game is also destructible. And as you can see here, the guy shooting these pillars actually destroys part of it. it makes your gun feel really powerful, and it's also just a nice feature in the game. I myself am genuinely really looking forward to the combat and who doesn't love shooting a nice explosive barrel and demolishing your enemies that way? It's going to be really good fun guys. They also have this high and low aiming system where you can kind of crouch behind cover as you see here and aim high and low which is how you shoot over cover and it just adds another dynamic to the combat. On top of all the different weapons in the game that you'll be able to choose from to make a build to your playstyle, this game also has abilities of which you'll be able to pump in attribute points to to be able to buff them right up which just adds like another layer to the combat on top of what's already there of which i'm super excited for and in a video released by the developers they describe it as something like this you'll start off with a skill that fires off kind of like three to four rockets but as you invest more points into it this can go up to a whopping 18 rockets so you could really buff up the skills and watch like 18 rockets fly off at once it's going to be incredible so another feature with this game being a cyberpunk game is hacking and obviously the ascent has this too you have something called a cyberdeck tool, which allow you to do a range of things like highlighting enemies around you, hacking doors to get to loot, as well as hacking enemies to get them confused so they start shooting their own teammates. And this further adds another depth to the game. So I hope you guys are getting a nice feel for this game and how in-depth it actually is. The developers really seem to have pumped as much content into this game as possible. And in a recent interview with the Neon Giants director, he stated that hacking is driven by the cyber deck that you carry. You might come to a door or chest that you cannot open because the security on that door or chest is too high then you'll need to find more cyber deck upgrades to give your cyber deck that ability all right so let's take a look at the inventory here you have at the top these tabs of character loadout armor augmentations map and mission and codex and in the armor here you can see you have head torso and legs and then in the torso you can see you've got like a backpack and a harness slot but something I'm actually really excited for here is the loadouts and we'll see what happens with like the augmentations etc when the game is actually released and I get hands on with it. And just running around you can see as well there are shops like this weapons one here and going in you can talk to the vendor and you'll be able to buy things like weapons and armor for Ucreds which is the in-game currency. You can see at the top here you've got the price and your funds and you've also got another one here which i believe is components which is used to upgrade your weapons and armor so obviously you'll be able to have some fun getting some money as you go around the game another cool feature is this npc here which is known as the grafter this npc allows you to change a load of things about yourself such as your gender, your face, your pigment, tattoos, as well as augmentations, which is really cool, and which is actually the abilities that you use, and also allows you to respec for a price. Now, what that price is, I won't know until I get my hands on the game, but at least you have the ability to do it, so I'm actually really excited about that. And looking further into these augmentations here, you can see you've got an org slot 1 and 2, and a module slot 1 and 2 as well. So I'm really keen to dive into this a bit more as well on release. And also with the augmentations here up on screen that they've just gone through, the cooldowns seem to vary quite a bit, but they're not too long. We've got one that's about three seconds and another that was about kind of 26. But all in all, guys, I'm really excited for this game. It looks really quite decent. We've had a few games recently that have been, let's say, subpar. Hashtag Dark Alliance. This game is actually shaping up to look really, really quite nice. So as I said, it's definitely got my attention and I can't wait to play it. Remember that I'll be streaming this game on release. So if you want to come check it out, check out the channel. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all my future content and be notified when I go live. So there we have it, guys. A nice first preview of this game and my overall feelings of it so far. Super excited to dive into it. And until the next one, guys, I hope you've at least learned something. And I also hope you have a very nice day. See you now.